Hey guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Boost. I'm YouTube famous now. Available in 3000 BC, the KTEL album, Dad AF. Rock on, gold dust woman. Not gorgeous, not LA, not Texas, Rock on gold dust woman. So anyway, so many people think I'm saying something else when I sing that song, so I just have to keep on singing it. Um, okay, today we are going to talk, I have to put some uh, lip balm on first of all, you know, oh, oh, oh my God, it broke. Well, at least there's no hairs in it. So anyway, today we are gonna talk about Jeffree Star and the mystery boxes of which Apparently, fans are confused left and right. So we're gonna talk about that in just a second. And I have to say, I'm a little confused as well. Um, I tried to delve deep into investigations, into this, um, and I couldn't find a whole lot about it, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway because I was tagged in this thread, and I think the thread is very interesting. I'm gonna read some of it to you in just a second. Um, but last week, Jeffree Star came out with his holiday mystery boxes. He came out with three of them, and um, apparently there were a lot of issues with the checking out of the mystery boxes, and people had certain mystery boxes in their cart, and then it came back later, and it said that item is sold out, and so they couldn't end up buying it, and there were a lot of issues with it. People are saying to Jeffree Star, hey, listen, you need to get rid of Shopify because, you know, he uses Shopify for his online store. And he apparently came out in like an Instagram and Snapchat story and defended Shopify and said he's always loved Shopify and whatever. But they're saying that because of what happened with the conspiracy palette um, and the whole, you know, Shane Dawson collection, as well as the mystery boxes, that there's obviously some issues with Shopify on and on and on. So I don't know. What do you guys think about all of that? I, you know, I don't know if this is a Shopify issue or if this is that Jeffree Star, whenever he sells something, it's just like selling out like immediately. But you know, if your fans are complaining about something that they can't purchase or buy what they want to buy, and you know, you might at some point just say, well, maybe Shopify isn't the greatest service in the entire world. Maybe I do need to look and see if there are other possibilities. I really want some lip balm and I have none. But maybe there are some other possibilities out there. And that would just be the, you know, to any business person, when you, you know, get some criticisms from people that are purchasing, when you're getting criticism from the consumers, to maybe take a look at that and say, hey, you know what, maybe there is something to this, you know? But apparently he's going to stick, stick with Shopify, so there probably will be in the future, unless they can fix it, um, you know, these same kind of similar problems, because we've seen these with the two recent releases. I don't know. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. Maybe they are selling out that quickly. Maybe it's just a computer technological I, listen, I ain't got my glasses on. I can't do math, so I don't know about technology. But what do you guys think about all of that stuff? Um, anyway, so this is the thread that I got. Uh, I, somebody sent it to me in a direct message, and then I went and looked at it, and I was like, this is getting kind of long. So somebody uh, said, I literally made a Twitter because I want to know why no one is talking about the fact that this post was deleted. Now, I will tell you before getting into this, it, many uh, drama channels were tagged in this. It wasn't just me. Um, what's going on, Jeffree Star? I really hope we all didn't get stickers after this post that it was cosmetics. And then they tagged Jeffree Star Cosmetics and Jeffree Star Mystery Box, okay? So let me put up what they posted here. And it is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics now. This uh, promo advertisement is now down. Jeffree Star has, has also taken it down from Twitter, so it, 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 it's not up there anymore. And what it is, is it's an advertisement for the mystery boxes, and it says Jeffree Star Mystery Boxes, Holiday Edition. And then there's a mini, a medium, um, and the, a mini, which is $20, a premium, which is $60, and a deluxe, which is $100, a lot. And I know people have been really happy with what they've gotten in the mystery boxes in the past, right? But there always seems to be, no matter what the mystery box is, no matter if it's Jeffree Star or whoever it is or Amazon. Listen, I bought I bought some mystery boxes up on Amazon and they are straight up junk, okay? It's obvious that somebody was sitting in a corner and they just put together some old cheapo box, okay? Of stuff they didn't want anymore. Do you remember when I did those cheapo boxes back then? If you have been around from the beginning, I used to do these cheapo boxes where I would put all this junk in it that I had bought from the dollar store and then I did this like whole ad about like I was selling these cheapo boxes and people thought it was for real, okay? They really, it was so funny. But anyway, um, I had so much stuff in there. I had stinky ass candles and I had uh, all kinds of feminine products in there and perfume that you can get at the Dollar Tree and I had all this kind of stuff. And I said the value of the box was $20 and it cost $20 and people, I was like, you're getting a really good deal. And people were like, it's exactly, you're paying exactly what you would pay. I was like, it's a joke, okay? But it was kind of a joke because I love the idea of a subscription box or a mystery box. 
But the reality is, in all truth, you're not really getting any kind of big deal out of this in any of them, okay? This isn't just Jeffree Stars. This is any of them. You're not really getting any big deal out of it unless you're just excited to buy the idea of a mystery, which I think is what most people are. They want to, like, have this present come to their house, and it's like a Christmas present that they open that they already purchased for themselves, right? I think we all do that. But it's the allure and the mystery and the intrigue of all of it that you don't know what you're going to get. So don't be posting your pictures up all over the place of what you got, which not a lot of people have because I had a hard time finding the pictures of the mini. So let me tell you why people have an issue with this. So um, he, underneath here, it says, oh my God, I don't have my readers on, but it says every box, every box contains at least one exclusive mystery cosmetic item. Okay, and so what people are having an issue with is that they're receiving these mini boxes, but there's no exclusive cosmetic item, supposedly. Okay, now I will tell you this. I have seen many, many people talk about this on Twitter and other places, and I haven't seen a whole lot of screenshots of what they are getting. Now, I will tell you, I went in and I looked, okay, and I found one picture, okay? Well, I found two pictures of the, somebody had tagged one of them in here. Um, let me see if I can find that one. Hold on a second. Um, they put this up here, but it looks like there's more than one box, and um, it has these stickers in the background, which are actually tattoos. And if you look at it, the, the tattoos are, here, I'm going to pull it up. Um, oh, my God. The first one says, can't relate. It's like snapping your finger. Then it's a tattoo that says, hi, how are you? Um, then it's like bleeding cherries or frostbitten cherries. And then it's like a beauty killer mirror. Um, and then there's uh, Jeffrey. It, it, it's kind of hard to see some of these. A T, the T sis, and then blue blooded. And then there's like, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, there's like 10 or 11, 12, I don't know, tattoos on here that you get, okay, that are exclusive to what Jeffree Star says. But if you look in this picture, there's also some, you know, liquid lipsticks and, um, the, the, what is it, the lip ammunitions, that's what, I think that's what it's called, anyway. Okay, so those are underneath there. And then the other picture that I found is this one right here, um, and I, I don't want to shout these people out because I don't know if they want a bunch of hate coming to their channel, but this is the only other one I found. And underneath here, she posted and said, I got my mini uh, Jeffree Star Cosmetics Mystery Box. This one was $20 and came with three items. I'm so happy with it. I was worried I would get products I wouldn't use, but androgyny. So she's referring to the androgyny, and I think that's the lip ammunition, um, is a pretty neutral -ish shade I could wear every day. And then, push out! Oh my God, whipped! Uh, which is the liquid uh, lip lipstick, liquid lip lipstick. The liquid lipstick um, is a gold color that is out of my comfort zone, but I still think it's pretty wearable. I'm probably gonna wear it. Okay, and then she goes in here and talks about it. So, and then there you can see um, all of the tattoos, blend, B-I-T-C-H, and Jeffree Star approved, and all these kinds of things. So, I mean, the tattoos are pretty cool, and I, in all honesty, like, if you love Jeffree Star, then you're gonna love these tattoos, and he hasn't put them out previously. The issue is that people are like, you said that you would get, if you go back and you look at the ad, okay, that he put up, the ad says, one exclusive mystery cosmetic item. Okay. Now people are saying that because the Halloween mystery boxes, when they did come out, they did have one co exclusive. <laughs> this is too much. Woo! Listen. Okay. That because it did have one exclusive cosmetic item in there that they just changed the picture, but put the same everything else on there from the holiday one. Well, that's fine. Okay. But you're misadvertising. And my issue with this is that <laughs> is this is that is that for those people out there that don't have a lot of money or wanted to just have one exclusive item, $20 is somewhat reasonable for them. But for a lot of people, $20 is still a lot of money, okay? And when they think they're going to get an exclusive item and they get two items that they can already purchase or may have already owned, plus these tattoos, unless he considers the tattoos a cosmetic item, which maybe he does, I don't know, you know, then I think that, because it could be considered kind of a cosmetic item, you know, the Lady Gaga, the eye things and whatever, those are kind of considered a cosmetic item. Then I think that, you know, I can understand why people would be upset about that when they thought they were going to get a highlighter or, or something like that. Okay, so let's go into this thread and let's read what people had to say. <laughs> okay, 
where is it at? So underneath here, um, this is what people had to say. I didn't get the mini, but I'm upset for everyone who did and pretty much got lied to. And he's made no comments about it either. I want the tea. And then somebody said, I got the mini and I am so mad about the stickers because I was promised cosmetic thinking I would get a holiday lip. And then somebody said, the medium said exclusive lip, uh, the large said highlighter. What was the value supposed to be? $40, right? You paid 20 and got two lips equals $40, right? So he's probably not going to do anything about it or do anything. Somebody said, I mean, I know what you mean, but it's still, it said cosmetics only and we get stickers. Um, and then somebody else said, if you are a true Jeffree Star fan, you would understand the stickers a little more. They are done in old school tattoo style. And personally, I love them and I'm a little saddened I did, didn't get a mini as well. How iconic knowing you have limited edition stickers. Ding a ling a ling, sham a lang dang, ding dong. <laughs> ding. my life. How's the drama drama phone? This is Peter speaking. Oh, hi, Jane. How are you? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Oh, you're sitting there and you just got your uh, Jeffree Star mystery box. The mini. You got some tattoos, huh? Well, what'd you get? Uh-huh. Blue blood. Oh, gosh. So can't wait to see that on your arm at the uh, Women's League on Thursday. What? No, I didn't get the Jeffree Star mini box with tattoos. I got the Tammy Wynette version. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the Dolly Parton one. It says Jolene. Don't be jealous. <laughs> I love Tammy Wynette and Dolly Parton so much. I'm watching that Heartstring show on Netflix right now. Uh-huh. Yeah, don't be jealous. It's, um, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, yeah, the Jeffree Star tattoos. I mean, iconic. Uh-huh. Yeah, limited edition collectibles. But not necessarily like the uh, Tammy Wynette, Loretta Lynn, and Dolly Parton said, I have Jolene. Okay, uh-huh. Nine to five, my other one says. Uh-huh. I'm getting it put across my forehead. <laughs> well, all right, Jane, I'll see you at the Women's League on Thursday. I mean, come on. Tattoos, iconic, exclusive. Okay, they're tattoos. They're very, very cool. If you're a super fan of his, whatever. I actually think that he could, he shouldn't have included him in the mini box. I actually think he should have sold them because I think he would have bankrolled off of this. Not that he needs to any more than he already has. But these tattoos literally would have sold out within minutes. People would have loved these. And he could have charged easily $20 for these. I think a lot of people would buy these. Um... Somebody said, I'm a MySpace Days fan and I love old school tattoo style. Stickers are not worth $8, no matter how exclusive, and stickers equal cosmetics. So I guess I'm confused. Could somebody let me know? And I, this is the thing, you guys. I literally found two screenshots of this. I looked all through Instagram. I looked on Twitter. I can't find it, okay? So I'm not going to hold the man accountable to something that I can't find, right? So I'm just going off of what I have seen. Are they stickers or are they tattoos? Because if they're tattoos, I guess they could kind of be cosmetics, like I said, but if they're straight up stickers, then no, that's not cosmetic at all. I mean, that's like, put that on a Christmas gift kind of thing, you know, or let your five-year-old play school with the stickers. Um, somebody said, I totally uh, get you feel lied to. I didn't even realize it's uh, said on all. Every time I get the small box, I know there isn't going to be any mystery item. They have always been in the medium and large boxes. This could have been a simple human error, and I'm sure he will speak on it soon. Well, whether he speaks on it soon or whether it was a simple human error, it is a business problem to promise one thing and it not be there. It's, it's a business problem. I mean, it needs to be rectified and it needs to be taken care of. Somebody said, uh, y'all, it was a typo on pretty much every other posting about the boxes. It never said cosmetic item. Um, and then said every, and then they post uh, the, uh, so then they show it the, the holiday item, which it says, Hi, Black Friday. How are you? Our iconic mystery boxes are back and more insane than Halloween. Launching Thanksgiving Day at noon. And then at time, three boxes, all with one or more exclusive items, including new makeup that will only be made for the release. And I mean, it's still, to me, very ambiguous. I mean, you I don't know that you would know reading that. It says with makeup items, which would back up the cosmetic thing. So I think people would think that, right? Which, let's just be for real. If you had purchased the mini Halloween item, which I went in here and I looked, and we're going to talk about in just a second, it says one exclusive cosmetic item on there. So if you had bought the mini Halloween one, why would you think the holiday one would be any different? I don't know. It seems like there's a lot of excuses being made. Every single other post I could find, they always say item, never cosmetic item. Most likely they forgot to delete that from the flyer since it probably just the Halloween flyer, but changed to be for the ho holiday boxes. Fonts are the same, just same color. I mean, I mean, it's kind of like if you get the cheese of the month box, right? And then, you know, they keep on putting the same ad up. And in January, you get salami. And everybody's like, I didn't want salami. I wanted cheese. And people are like, oh, it's a human error. Uh, they meant to say a salami, but they put cheese. Well, it's a problem. It's a business problem, okay? Like, 
I, and this is where it's like, I don't know, if we really want to compare people like Jacqueline Hill to Jeffree Star to all these people, it's like you have to hold them accountable across the board as business people, not as where people were fans of or whatever, but as consumers, we have to hold them accountable across the board. I do think that Jeffree Star will come out and say something about it. I can't believe that he hasn't come out and said something about it since already. I can't believe that he didn't look at the mini boxes and think to myself, does this match what I have in my advertisement? That's just, you know, it's just, that's interesting to me. Um, somebody said, I don't think they reused it. They would have just made a new flyer. The Halloween boxes were sold for different amount of money and had a different number of items in it. Even if that was the case, address it. People only bought it for the exclusive. It's misleading. Somebody said, it's probably limited edition stickers because he doesn't sell those. Yeah, you paid for makeup, but they are technically cosmetic stickers. What's a cosmetic sticker? Can somebody please explain that to me? I'm just saying, okay? I don't know what a cosmetic sticker is, okay? Is that a smelly sticker you put right here and then people scratch it and smell when they walk by? I don't know what a cosmetic sticker is, so please explain that to me. I think the stickers are pretty dope since the box is only $20 when you really think about it. I mean, if you're a super fan of Jeffree Star, sure, you're gonna love these stickers. The stickers are cool. They are, they're very cool. I would like to know if they're tattoos. If they're tattoos, then I think, I feel like that could kind of fall under the idea of cosmetics. I really do, you know? Um, yes, I got a liquid lip and a lip ammo with stickers as the exclusive item. Okay, so there. Can I see the colors that you got in your mystery box? Someone said, I wonder if they're all different each box. Somebody said, I'm getting the mini, and from what I've seen, there's zero mystery com cosmetic item. I'm sad about it. Somebody said, I've only seen the snap, and he said the highlighter was in the big one, um, and the lippy in the middle. I've never seen anything about exclusive in the mini. I mean, it's only $20. I really didn't expect there to be. That's why I got the medium and big ones. And some, and I think this is the, uh, somebody said, that may be the case. However, he also shouldn't have said that there would be an exclusive cosmetic item in each box. I, you know, I don't know. This is I, Even though I think that it's a business issue and it needs to be rectified, it probably w was a mistake. But like, okay, for the people that order the mini, maybe you need to send them all like a limited edition cosmetic item since the flyer said that, you know what I mean? Um, I still haven't gotten my mini controversy, not uh, my mystery box. I've even contacted customer service and they have not responded. Okay. And then um, they did say that you have to wait up to about 10 days after Thanksgiving before any orders from Thanksgiving ship. Um, okay. Where did stickers come from though? I'm confused. Someone said same. Um, somebody said, okay, I say let's not freak out until we start getting the boxes and know for sure. I say give Jeffree Star the benefit of the doubt right now. We don't want you to feel foolish if there was nothing to be upset about. However, this is interesting and I'm curious. And somebody responded and said, we are getting our boxes already and it's true. Stickers are apparently the exclusive item. Wow. And a small amount of the premium, so it's counted as an item. That's a huge disappointment and bummer. But then again, it's said to be a mystery. I want to see... <laughs> Surprise! You got stickers, cosmetic ones. I'm so curious, how odd, please explain. I think there's some people out there that are probably, probably just really, really happy with the stickers, you know? Um, and then somebody said, why the stickers though? And it just goes on and on and on, and then they start tagging drama channels in it, me and everybody else, so. Um, and then, but he's deleted this. And, that, and that's the interesting issue is, why did he delete this? If there's no issue with it, and it's just a human error, why delete it? Is he gonna come out and put another post? and say, hey, listen, this is the issue with it, and I'm going to rectify it, or, you know, like, I don't know. What's he gonna do with the situation? So what do you guys think? Put it in the comment section below. I love you guys, and don't forget to order your Dolly Parton, there's no jo Jolene stickers, there's not. But can you imagine, if there were Jolene tattoo stickers, I would have them like that. Anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.